Hi, I'm Simeon from the Osteopaths, and this is the fourth and final video in our short series that we've entitled Low Back Pain First Aid Toolkit. And um, today we're going to talk a little bit about things that you can do to help manage your pain. We've already touched on um, how to reduce your symptoms of pain relief and contrast bathing and the importance of keeping active. But another question we're often asked at the Osteopaths is what exercises can I do to try and help me reduce my pain um, whilst I'm recovering? Now there are hundreds of different exercises you can do, but I'm going to show you four exercises that my patients often find quite useful in helping get them mobile and also to help reduce some of the muscle tightness that can come from uh, being relatively inactive uh, with back pain. Now probably the easiest and the safest, the most comfortable position for patients to do exercise when they're in pain, particularly back pain, is lying down. So here Therese is uh, sort of lying on the uh, treatment table at the practice. Uh, you can do this on the floor if you can get down to the floor, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're in lots of pain. It's often better to be on the bed, for example, so that you're able to get up more easily. But when you're lying down, make sure your head's well supported by here a couple of pillows, your neck straight and your back's nice and level. Um, lying on a hard surface like the floor can be quite uncomfortable, so make sure you're on a carpet or if you've got a yoga mat or something like that, or towels. But um, try and avoid very, very soft surfaces like soft couches. They can be uneven and can be difficult to work on. So, uh, the first exercise I'm going to show you is how you can stretch your low back. And we can do this in two ways. Firstly, we're going to show you how to do it with one of the legs. Uh, in this instance, Teresa's is going to bring up her left knee. She's going to take hold of it with both her hands so she's comfortable with her arms and shoulders. And she's gently going to draw the knee towards her chest nice and slowly so that she can feel the stretch into her low back. And if she's in pain, she should feel a nice gentle stretch. It shouldn't make the symptoms provocatively worse, although it may feel a little bit uncomfortable. Now it's important to remember, if you are in pain and you're doing any exercise that you think is making your pain worse or causing other pain, for example, into the back of your leg or tingling in the, in the leg or foot, that you should stop the exercise immediately. But don't be surprised if you do feel it stretching and pulling. That's a good sign. It's a sign that you're reaching the muscles and the other structures in the back that probably need stretching and mobilization. You stretch, typically stretch and hold for about five to 10 seconds. And then once you've done that, just let your arms straighten, keep a hold of the knee, take a break for a couple of seconds, and then repeat that stretch, stretching and holding for five to 10 seconds, depending on how much discomfort you're in and then release. If you're in lots of pain, you might find five seconds is enough. If you feel like you're recovering, then stretching for a little bit longer can be beneficial. To make that stretch a lot stronger, you can use both knees. So if we just put the left knee down, and again, advice when putting the leg down, make sure you do it slowly, no sudden movements that might jar your back and give you a twinge of pain. So with both knees, it's exactly the same. Carefully and slowly bring up one knee at a time, so you've got both the knees together. Again, you can either link your fingers together or hold both knees comfortably like so. And again, just gently hug your knees towards your chest, keeping your head down on the pillow. You're not curling yourself into a ball, stretching for five to 10 seconds, whatever you're most comfortable with. And once you've done that, just strengthening your arms, allowing your back to relax, giving yourself a break and repeating. And normally I say to my patients, probably try 10 stretches like that, see how you feel. Uh, 10 is typically enough just to start stretching the back out and then we'll ask them to move on to a different exercise to mobilize the spine. So this exercise is designed to put a bit of movement into the spine in a bit of a twisting action. And again, this is useful for loosening the muscles, giving them a bit of a stretch in a slightly different way. The position of uh, starting this exercise is exactly the same. So you're lying on your back, with your knees bent up, with your hands resting on your stomach, some people prefer to have their hands either side of their body because it gives them a little bit more control when they start the exercise. And all we're going to do here is rotate the legs, so letting the legs twist from side to side. So we're going to bring the legs to the side here. And something that's important to remember, to remember is try not to over twist. So don't get your back lifting off the table like this. That's too much of a twist for an acute back. Let your knees come to the side approximately in line with your the shoulder on the same side and then you can let the legs twist the other way same sort of distance and you can do this in a nice rhythmic pattern if you feel relatively confident you can do it fairly frequently and all we're doing here is just twisting the spine along its length 
putting a bit, some very gentle movement through the back without you carrying any load on the spine. And that can be a really nice way of getting you mobile if you've been stiff or, or out of action for a little while with back pain. The last two exercises are designed to stretch into the hips. And again, it's not uncommon to find that people with back pain get pain in the hip muscles and the muscles can feel tight and uncomfortable. So there are two exercises you can use to release those muscles off. The first exercise is to stretch the gluteal or the buttock muscles, the big muscles we sit on. And in this instance, we're going to have one knee bent up and Teresa's going to reach up with her opposite hand and take hold of the knee. And the idea is that you pull the knee diagonally across your body, roughly halfway between your hip and your shoulder. And you should start to feel a stretch through the back of the buttock into the back of the leg. Again, you shouldn't get any pain traveling down the leg into your calf or your foot with this exercise. If you do, that means that there's something a little bit more problematic and you shouldn't use the exercise. Best thing if you find you're getting symptoms like that, and those are new symptoms, to contact your osteopath or your doctor uh, for advice, uh, or perhaps go and visit your doctor or osteopath for um, an examination. Again, we recommend stretching for about 10 seconds, letting the muscles lengthen and then letting the leg come back to neutral, resting for a second or two, and then repeating that stretch in the same direction. Now some people vary this stretch, so some people bring the leg more across the body like so. That stretch is a little bit higher up into the buttock muscles, or you can bring the knee further up and stretch more towards your shoulder, and that stretch is a little bit lower down into the buttock muscles. And you can vary it depending on where you feel the tightness is. And again, we put the leg down very carefully. So that's stretching the gluteal or buttock muscles. And there's another muscle deep in the, in the, in the pelvis, in the buttock region called piriformis, which is often gets very tight. And that can be quite significant in low back pain. So it's useful sometimes to stretch that too. And to do that, we're going to use the same position, but this time we're going to use both legs. So bending up both knees. And what you need to do is take, in this instance, the right leg. We're going to bring this one up and we're going to cross the leg over resting the ankle of the right leg on the top of the left knee. So if you're comfortable in that position, what you then need to do, Teresa is going to demonstrate, is you need to stabilize the right knee and try and reach behind the left leg if you can, like so, and very gently pull that knee up towards your tummy. And this creates a very strong stretch into the buttock area. Again, holding that for a slow count of five to 10 seconds, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And once you've counted slowly to 10, five or 10, just let the uh, legs relax, have a rest, and then again, repeat that for 10, 10 stretches. And once you're finished, very gently, carefully, slowly, move your foot back onto the table, and that's it. Those are the four exercises that we find are very useful for Relieving, relieving back pain and releasing some of the tight muscles that can sometimes come about. Hopefully those are very helpful to you. And if you've got any questions about what we do at The Osteopaths, you can give us a ring or find us on the web at www.theosteopaths.org.uk. Thank you.